Good morning, everyone. Bonjour à tous. Now that the official things are behind us, let's get to the fun stuff. Uh, last year, I stood before you to share the vision for the future of the organization. It started with the launch of a transformation plan, which will take us towards a renewed financial institution in 2022, and includes three overarching goals we set for ourselves. To, adjust, to achieve an adjusted return on equity that is comparable to the Canadian average, to double the size of the organization, and to build a solid strategic foundation. Let's not kid ourselves. These are lofty goals. But all three are required in order to achieve what we believe should be the performance of an organization like ours. After 170 years of existence, the interests of our three main stakeholders, customers, employees, and shareholders, are aligned and reliant on transformation. In this digital world, it is our responsibility as an organization to rethink how customers are going to be served in the future and how dramatically different this new reality will be compared to the past. How team members can now really add true value and elevate themselves from manual tasks into knowledge and advice-based professions. And how shareholders can appreciate and get rewarded by investing in a growing, modern, and socially responsible financial institution. In the past 12 months, the team has made considerable progress. And today, I'll take a few moments speaking about the main achievements of 2016, which was year one of a seven-year plan, as well as highlighting our priorities for 2017. First, let's talk performance. In 2016, through a combination of growth initiatives, cost control, and credit management efforts, we were able to maintain an adjusted ROE of 12, while the Canadian banking average fell from 17 to 15.4. This reduction in the gap that separates our organization from the average is noteworthy in that it was achieved in a small period of time. And however challenging it may be in this ever-changing environment, we are maintaining the 2019 and 2022 commitment to completely and, the, and sustainably closing the gap, even hoping to do so before then, if possible. 2017 will be a year of continued performance in this regard. We must finalize the outsourcing of the IT infrastructure and storage operations to IBM Canada, continue the optimization of retail services activities by merging 50 branches, going from 150 to 100, simplifying the product line, and increasing the size and effectiveness of the team of advisors. And finally, complete the integration of CIT Canada into LBC Capital. Let's talk growth. We made important progress in key businesses, namely in B2B bank broker mortgages and Laurentian Bank business services, where an already impressive organic growth was compounded with the acquisition of the Canadian CIT business. We had already been growing the equipment financing business, but this takes it to a whole new level with the addition of a well-established process, a strong team, and new customers. This acquisition also demonstrates the commitment to expanding our pan-Canadian presence. I would also like to make a special mention to the capital markets segment. They had their best year ever in 2016. Going forward into 17, we will continue towards meeting our 2019 targets. Our dedicated and strong business development teams across the organization will continue focusing on building solid, advice-based relationships with their clients. Finally, in our world today, what building a solid strategic foundation really means is transforming from a traditional bank to a digital bank, and doing so quickly, indeed, as customers are adopting this digital way of life, personal and business customers' needs and behaviors are changing, and our financial institution must remain relevant. During 2016, we laid the first foundations to becoming a digital bank by redesigning our customer process and by selecting and standardizing our product lineup. Choosing Temenos, an international software specialist in banking and finance, to develop and build a new core banking system which will be the backbone to the digital offer, and building up the technology teams in order to provide access to client-facing technologies. 
At the end of 17, we will have implemented this backbone of the new core banking system and migrated all accounts from B2B Bank and a large portion of those from business services activities onto the new platform. We, have, we will have made progress on the development of a more robust credit framework, as well as continued work towards the migration to the AIRB methodology so we can level the playing field for commercial opportunities. In summary, 2016 has been a good, really productive year across the board and a great start to our transformation plan. I look forward to 2017. It will be a big year for us, full of challenges, rewards, and opportunities. In conclusion, I am confident that the investments we are making in our people and our technology will allow us to better serve our customers, their needs now and in the future. We have chosen to focus and promote a value proposition that is relevant to today's customers, choosing to, better, to be better than average on client-facing technology, ease of doing business, and advisor account manager competency. I'm encouraged that this message is being heard and by the fact that the 10-year total shareholder return in 2016 was greater than the average big six banks. We are committed to our mission to help customers improve their financial health. This will translate into better value for customers, more engagement for team members, and better performance for shareholders. I would like to end this address with a few personal words of thanks. Thank you to customers for your patronage and loyalty. We look forward to continuing to provide a level of service that meets your needs. Thank you to our current and future shareholders for your confidence and interest in our organization. Thank you to the members of the board and its chair, Isabelle Courville, for your counsel and ongoing support. I will also like to thank my seasoned and dedicated executive team. Susan Kutzman, Francois Lorrain, Deborah Rose, Stéphane Terrien, and Michel Trudeau. Thank you. Your commitment and passion towards achieving our goals inspires me every day. And again, thank you. Lastly, I would like to thank our awesome employees. They are truly awesome for their dedication and for staying the course along this journey towards building the next great Canadian financial institution.